Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing combined science and we are still on the biology section. But today we will be looking on specialized plant cells. As I have said in my last video, uh, if you are new to my channel, please go and watch that video. We were talking about the specialized animal cells the structure the functions and so forth so today we are looking at specialized plant cells so here i have examples of specialized plant cells and we have two of them we have palisade cell then the root hair cells so these cells they are found on the leaves under the upper epidermis so we want to first look at the palisade cells so the palisade cells this is the structure of the palisade cells we are seeing here uh, we have the cell wall then next to the cell wall we have the cell membrane then the cytoplasma then that black dot is the nucleus then the vacuum then the chloroplast so those are the parts of the palisade cell cells so in our next video we will be explaining the functions of each part so today we want to describe the structure and the functions of a palisade cell uh, it's just the same they may ask you to identify the structure and the functions of a palisade cell or to explain how the palisade cell is adapted for its functions it's just the same and the one thing so if you are asked to describe the structure and the functions of a palisade cell you have to know that uh, Palisade cells has a large surface area to increase the absorption of carbon dioxide and light for photosynthesis. It has a large surface area to increase the absorption of carbon dioxide and light for photosynthesis. Again, they have uh, they contain chlorophyll, which enables them to trap sunlight, uh, usually for photosynthesis. And uh, there is a large larger surface area to catch as much light as possible as as a uh, larger surface area to catch as much light as possible again uh, light is used for photosynthesis in plants so uh, in short we can say uh, they help plants to make their own food these cells they a uh, person cell help plants to make their own food so here you want to look at the root of cell and this is the structure of the root hair cell. Uh, again, on the root hair cell, we have the cell wall, then the cell membrane, then at the center, we have the vacuole, then the nucleus, uh, cytoplasma, and the root hair cell. Or, uh, sorry, or and the root hair. So, here, we want to look at the structure, adaptations, and functions of a root hair cell. So, we have to know that. Uh, it has a long thin parts uh, to increase the surface area of the root in contact with the soil. It has a long thin parts to increase the surface area of the root in contact with the soil. And again it has a very thin cell walls to allow water and nutrients to pass from the soil into the root rapidly. As you can see in uh, that picture that uh, the root here uh, is very long uh, to increase the surface area of the root in contact with the soil so for today we are going to end here and thanks for watching if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and just leave a comment on the comment section below because i'll be happy if you let me know if this video was helpful to you so it's goodbye for now